All right, guys, we made it to Fergus Falls. Uh, Larry, the, one of the guys who works at uh, the Comfort Zone Inn, offered to give us a ride because we had too much gear to pack, uh, too much weight. So we separated out our packs and we got all of the excess stuff out of there and we were going to go to the post office and mail it. But, uh, yeah, uh, we got another issue. I'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, last time I thought we were at the post office uh, and Aaron went in. Turns out it was a courthouse. Uh, we got dropped off at the courthouse instead of the post office. So we located the post office. It was like two and a half miles away. And that's where we are now. We made it to the Fergus Falls main post office. Aaron just went in to ship uh, 10 or 12 pounds, I'm guessing. I don't really know this stuff very well, but I guess 10 or 12 pounds worth of gear that she had. And I had a little bit that I threw in. Uh, I had to dump some of my food at the hotel that we were at last in that green room that you saw. But, you know, we had to lighten our packs so that we can make it a decent distance. Erin is doing much better now. And, of course, Maddie is waiting for her mama. It's okay. Maddie, it's okay. Daddy right here. Daddy right here. Come see your daddy. You on TV. I know. She's worried about her mom. So we're at the post office now. She's getting that stuff packaged up and we'll be shipping it back home. And the kids know we're sending some packages uh, so they can be on the lookout for that. Um, also, uh, we found a place where we're going to go tonight to spend the night. And that is De Lagoon Campground or something like that. Uh, looks like there's an entryway to the North Country Trail right there as a part of the campground. So I think that's where we're going to stay. I think it's 20 bucks for a tent site. And I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there because it's like four miles away from the post office. And we don't make very good time yet. But it's open 24 hours. And there's a kiosk at the front of the campground where you make your payment. And then I'm assuming it assigns a site or you pick one and log it or something. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. Uh, other than that... That's about it from Fergus Falls for the time being. Really nice town. People are pretty polite. And uh, they slow down when they're passing you on the side of the road. So we appreciate that. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I wanted to put you on camera because I got some information and I want your reaction on film. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. De Lagoon is 5.7 miles in the direction that we just came from. It's on the other side of Fergus Falls. What? It's on the other side of Fergus Falls. It's it's almost six miles away from here. What is? De Lagoon, where we're going to stay tonight. Oh, what? Yeah. Six miles in the direction we just came from? Well, 5.7, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> She laughs it off. Oh, Maddie's having a... Maddie's having a conniption. She's like, oh, shit. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Well, we'll decide what we're going to do. Talk to you guys later. Oh. Hello, everybody. She's in labor right now. We found a turtle on the side of the road in the process of laying her eggs. She's hiding from us in her shell. She's got a deep hole. She's digging it out with her feet. All right. We'll see you guys later. All right, guys. We are tucked away for the night. Uh, we're just hanging out here, resting up. It was a really good day. Mm hmm it was a really good day. I don't know if I post, if I talk. Oh, no, I didn't. We were at the courthouse, I think, last time I I talked to him. I think so. Mm. This is going to be bad if I have... No. We were at the post office, courthouse, something. This is getting to be a very terrible clip. <laughs> you should just start over. Nah, I'll keep going. This, this, the, Phil will like this part. <laughs> Anyways, so we were at the courthouse. We got dropped off at the courthouse. And we were supposed to be at the post office. 
So it was uh, how many miles, wife? 8.5 miles. No, from oh. the courthouse to the post office. Three? It was like two and a half, two and I and think. Half. Two and a half. And then once we, well, we stopped at Fleet Farm along the way, so she got her water, her water filter, filter, filtration system. That's No good. dog leash. They're too heavy. They're too big. They don't have any chihuahua size. No, so we're still on the hunt for a dog leash for Maddie. I just worry about that not giving out on her, uh, yeah. on her vest. She's staying pretty good. She yeah. really hates the collar. So when she's in the sack now, she, I take it off. I, I tell her, you know, you can't get out and she's just fine. She just, she hates it. So, but she barely wants to get out of the sack now because she knows mm -hmm. she's got to put the harness on. <laughs> Unless we sit down and then she's whining about wanting to get out and stretch her legs. So yeah. we do that. In fact, let's show them Maddie if you want to yeah. grab my. Here she is, guys. She's tuckled out. She's a sleepy girl. She got her nest, Miari. You got Can your you tongue. You? Miari, you sleepy girl. Oh, back to bed. Okay. <laughs> she looked up for just a second and then went back to bed. Right. Here, we'll move that because it's showing my... Um, so, yeah. That's like the worst thing a person can say on YouTube is, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so what we finished, what did you tell them? Oh, no. So we got this place at, well, we, we found a place on the internet called De Lagoon Park. It's on the, it's on the trail. It's on the trail, which we had lost once we got to Fergus Falls here because, you know, we had to run a few errands and get some stuff taken care of. So we were hopping around town, but then De Lagoon is back on the trail. Um, so tomorrow's video will be a little bit of the entryway there that they have. Cause I saw a picture of it. It looks pretty nice unless that picture is like 10 years old and it turned yeah, into a shithole. Uh, a cra uh, uh, you sorry. Gotta you gotta put, you gotta clip that out. Well, you do it too on accident sometimes. Yeah. I did it too on accident. I apologize. Okay. So that's good enough for a clip, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. I'm walking on my way back to the, uh, back to the campsite. There's a few people still up. It's like 1, 1 30 in the morning. I think I have a blister on my foot. This looks like I'm shooting the, uh, Blair Witch Project. Catch you later. Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is the morning of day four. Yeah. We're taking the day off. We're just going to relax. Turns out we could actually really need it because Maddie's been in a little bit of a way. She's she's a little, uh, little ha has some anxiety because we've never done this before. So she's never done this before. And I'm sure it's a little concerning for her. But, uh. We plan on making some breakfast here. We're in the midst of our morning coffee. Very good, by the way. Mm -hmm. Nice and strong. Yeah, I guess that's what we realize. That's how they do it. When we camp, like at a campsite, we make a huge pot of campfire coffee. And we sip on that for like an hour or two. But when you're out here, you can't really afford to spend the water and all of that to uh, make a whole bunch of coffee. So you just make one really strong cup. And I guess if you need another shot, you can do it again. But So she said, make it a strong one, and I did. And I, I, I guess I'm pretty good at it. Very delicious. Yes. Uh, so let's, tell them, let's show them what's for breakfast. We haven't made it yet, but we do have plans for breakfast. This is the Mountain House. Pretty common. I think it's pretty run-of-the-mill brand from what I understand. We got uh, scrambled eggs there. And that is just uh, one serving of scrambled eggs. 20, so, 20. oh yeah, 22 grams of protein right there. So that's pretty good. We're going to share that. And then um, <coughs> this only has 11 grams of protein, but it has uh, two servings, so 11 grams per serving. And it's some biscuits and gravy. So we're going to have that for breakfast, and I'm sure Maddie's going to eat her fill of the eggs and maybe have a little bit of sausage and gravy. 
Yeah. You know, because she's not eating her regular food at all, um, not even her treats. But we were at the cafe yesterday morning, she had and she ate bacon. bacon and eggs, but it had to be eggs that had melted cheese <laughs> on it, if you can believe that. Had to have the melted cheese part, not the plain eggs, Mom. The yeah. melted cheese part, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's a little spoiled, so now she won't eat. She doesn't eat any of her, she doesn't eat any of her dog food since she's been on this trip. Because she knows when we go camping that she gets to have treats because I have people through. So mm -hmm. now she only eats when we eat, I think. And yeah. yesterday she didn't drink much. And she, she ate, she ate your granola bar this morning. Yeah, with she you. ate my granola bar. <laughs> but I had to get her to eat something because she well, just yeah. wasn't seeming like she herself, you know. It's hard to get her to eat her food when we're at home, too. She just sniffs it and then walks away and then gets pissed off if anyone comes at it, you yeah. know? Yeah, but. so we just have to accommodate to her right now because I don't want her to get sick or too small or, you know, so. She's kind of a little girl to begin with, yeah. so. Yeah, so I'm glad we're taking the day off. She needs a day off, I think, and our calves need a day off. But, hey, we did right. 8.5 miles yesterday. I'm really, really proud of us. <laughs> we actually never left Fergus Falls, but we did quite a bit of walking. Well, you guys know. We, we, you've seen all the clips yeah. and everything. Or if you so. look on the map. You would see how big Fergus Falls is, and we walked we around walked it. from the middle, outside, and then all the way across town. It was yeah. crazy. But uh, what else is on our plan today? We plan on checking out this park that we're at. Yeah. I guess there's an entryway to the North Country Trail somewhere around here, and we'd like to find that and check that out today so we know where we're going tomorrow. Probably check the map and find if they show campsites or what they show along the trail. There's a lot of, looks like a lot of water. We're hitting a lot of lakes and waters after Fergus Falls, so. And I have a filter system, so that's. She got her better. Sawyer. You got it yeah. discounted, didn't you? Yeah, which was weird. All the rest of them weren't, and it, maybe it's just because it was pink. I, I don't know. Yeah, it was a pink Sawyer, but then we found out it was stapled together, so it had, uh, it had been previously sold, I believe. I didn't realize it until I got all the way outside. <laughs> I mean, he's like, well, it's an open. I'm like, oh. I ain't going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, but it's got all the pieces and everything. I don't know. It'll be fine. Yeah. So, all right. Well, maybe we'll uh, take a few pictures of what our breakfast turns out to look like or something. I don't know. I know I didn't come back that one day from uh, uh, when we were in the woods, and I was gonna, I was gonna like take video of where our tent was just how it was tied up oh, in the woods there yeah. and i never did that it was just it was my anxiety was so high that night from sleeping out there just not because of nature just because i don't think we were supposed to necessarily be there when he's doing something he's not supposed to andy doesn't feel right he gets really i i, I just like it's fine uh, you know, well, I've slept in a lot of worse places. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you, I used to be, I mean, before Aaron and even after Aaron with my drinking, I used to be a real jerk. A lot. Well, because I was selfish. I was young and selfish. Aaron and I were talking about this last night. You, I was just very young and very selfish. And I did a lot of things that were, to me, very disrespectful, rude, and dishonest. So now I try not to do that stuff anymore. So, yeah, kind of setting up camp in a place where we weren't supposed to be. And then my wife taking forever to pack the next oh, morning. I brought this. I brought one of these little uh, <coughs> alarm things oh. because uh, in case, in case some, you know, something happens, I can pull it and it's really loud. So it would get everybody's attention, right? We get in the woods the first night to get in there. And I get caught on a tree, and it pulls the thing, and we're trying to sneak in there, right? And, <laughs> and I'm like, oh! <laughs> I couldn't find the, the mechanic, and my backpack, and the way it was, I couldn't couldn't get it. <laughs> and, and there's this screaming, oh, and yeah, Andy's the thing's anxiety going off, going she's crazy. going off, she's hollering <laughs> at me. I walk over, I'm just like, good. Dang it! And I clip the thing in, and it you're shut not off. wearing that anymore. I think so I now she's home. got 
Did you, or is it in your pack still in the oh. side pocket? Uh, maybe I kept it. Because I, I saw... remember you were digging in there last night, and I was like, you better not pull that thing by accident. Oh, I you watch I yourself. Well, that. I just feel safe with it. It's yeah. fine to have it. I just don't want it anywhere to accidentally yeah. get pulled. I mean, like when we start getting further up north and we're in bear country, then carry it on the outside of your pack. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. But and then we were at the hotel and and oh. over the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, like two o'clock in the morning, noon or midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Um. All of a sudden, the alarms start going off. The fire and I'm alarms. Like, what the heck? At first, I'm looking for that button, and I'm thinking, I didn't push the button. I didn't push the button. <laughs> Uh, but it was it was uh, fire alarms in the building. I guess they have a defaulty one, and it went off in the yeah. middle when they uh, yeah. tripped us out. It looked all out, and it's all you know, dark Nothing and red carpet, kind of like the shining. <laughs> right. <laughs> but oh, it was awesome little place. Let me that was it. a nice room, though. It, it really was. was. Oh, and Phil, it had <laughs> a big moose, mm -hmm. beautiful moose picture right on the wall. I wish I would have took a picture of. The room mm -hmm. and then on another wall it had um a really beautiful picture of mallard ducks mm -hmm. gorgeous and then on the other wall it was one of my favorite terry redlin um like paintings and it was uh of the camp a uh, tenting and a canoe like up in the boundary waters kind of reminds me of scenery it was mm -hmm. beautiful it was I, like, I like those paintings. Yeah, like it was do, just those. like it was meant to be. You know, it was just yeah, very, very spiritual to me. Very, very cool. Awesome. Yeah. And the people were nice. You know, yeah. we 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 did our little spot for the comfort zone in on the. Yeah. Uh, I thank so. the Lord for the angels and for the great places that we've been so far and the great people that we've met and that sweet little girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, the she's that I know her name is isn't Rainy, but it's uh. It's really beautiful, and she's seven years old, um, and she reminded me a lot of my niece, Vivian. Hey, Miss Vivian Marie, I love you, yeah. by the way. Hey, Viv. <laughs> and Miss Arista Riggies. I miss my Riggies. Riggity Roo. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, we were having fun, though, and we were enjoying each other's company, mm -hmm. and we're very positive for each, for each other on this mm -hmm. journey. And she can get up with her pack on with no help now. Yes. She was doing that all day yes. yesterday, yeah. over and over, so she can do it. Yeah. She can get up. She uses her uh, her hiking poles, you know, sometimes. And yeah. Maybe sometime we'll take a, we'll put that on there. You guys can see how I get up. Or how I get up. And then yeah. people can tell us either, yep, that's how you're supposed to do it, or what the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys are going to bust your back. <laughs> I had my pack on. I was sitting down. I had my pack on. And Aaron's like, can you grab my poles? They're right behind you. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I'm a turtle on a shell. I can't get them. <laughs> I'm like, I had oh, to get yeah. up first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe we should uh, shut this down for a bit yeah. and prepare breakfast. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you guys later. See you later. <clears throat> Jamie said, I watched your videos on YouTube last night till 2.30 a.m. I love you guys and I am so proud of you both. I know that you guys are So, wife, wife, what? Um, how do you like the camp so far? It's nice. It is nice down here. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna take some pictures. Mhm. Mm it's good to take a day off. My calves need it. Mm -hmm. My butt needs it. <laughs> yeah. My hips, I should say. So For sure. It's, it's, it's nice. The the um, the water quality is in this. Good. I'm a little busy today, but I'm glad we're not walking the lunch. But tomorrow is supposed to be better, so that's good. So, yeah, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's, it's a lot better starting yesterday. I mean, it got better yesterday as we left to go some of the stuff, and now it's going better. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little bit of a lighter pack makes a great big of a deal. There's a guy who gave us a ride. Uh, he said. Ounces are pounds in this game, and I think that's a pretty common saying because I've heard that before. But truth, if you can drop a couple of ounces, it feels like a good couple of pounds off your bag. 
So, but other than the park, I don't know. We saw some kind of trash sites. It's kind of kind of sad. A bunch of beer bottles in the fire pit and cardboard laying around. But uh, we did end up finding a site. Dirty that, socks uh, just laying around. You oh, know, yeah. like put your socks away. You really have to just litter like that. It's just sad. anyways. We did find a site that uh, that was going to work for us, and we got all set up. So, I don't know. We're going to take a little bit more of a walk around. We got the lake uh, out in front of us here. I just showed a short little clip of. We got some really nice houses on the other side, and some farmland too. So, a good mix. And just want to say hello to y'all and everyone, and we miss ya. Yep. And love you all, and hope you'll continue to watch and. And now I'm a stereotypical YouTuber carrying around a camera with a selfie stick. <laughs> I feel weird. I do. I'm 41 and I'm doing this shit. Stop. 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 Gosh, watch your mouth. Sorry. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. I don't know if you can really read this, but it's a little plaque for the fishing pier here dedicated to the memory of Leonard Christofferson for his work in conservation. Fergus Falls Fish and Game Club, 1988. Pretty cool. We're going to go out and take a few pictures from the dock. All right, I just wanted to ask you a question. How do you think Maddie's been traveling this trip? Oh, uh, good. I think she's been doing good. Uh, but she's a little, she's a little worn out, too, because she feels that she has to guard us and be awake all the time. <laughs> Even though she's resting in the pooch the whole time. Yeah. She's exaggerating, uh, tiring herself out. She can't even lay on the grass because it's too pokey. She needs her blankie. Yeah. Of course, she, that's mostly done by this woman here. Yes, and then she needs uh, filtered water. Yeah. Got a good water, or she has a hard time drinking it because she knows it's from the lakes or rivers got a little bit of a funky taste to it so she's like mm. she doesn't want it <laughs> she's picky yeah. yes yeah, she is she's a princess yeah but she's doing good i mean she says right here she hates having her call around so i told her you know if you don't have to have it on if you stay right here mm -hmm. you'll be a good girl so she's being like a good girl she's staying right by us yeah people like the oh, where she there she is I was like, oh, empty blanket. <laughs> There's Mayotte. She's snooping around now. Yeah. But people like the animals. My videos always do better when there's animals or somebody else in them other than me. Whatever. They do. <laughs> you should look at some of the numbers. Yeah. All right, anyways, that's enough of that. Yep. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you our setup that we're working with here. This is clearly a fire pit. Uh, we haven't been using this. We can't transport any wood to our campsite. We just got too much weight already. Uh, we got a couple of picnic tables, but see the next campsite's literally right here. And look at this thing, man. It's like the Hulk spent the night here. It's just completely destroyed. I mean, it's like somebody was ripping it right out of the ground. And then we got Camp Site 8, where we were going to spend the night. Because it looked like nice and wooded. Beautiful trees, plenty of shade. And also plenty of trash. Bunch of Mountain Dew cans. Empty beer bottles laying all over the place. And dirty socks. So, oh, and more cardboard over here. And more trash. So we did not opt for this site. So we just went down two sites to number six. There's the Hulk attack again. We're just coming down here. Here's our tent. This is that Perea or Pariah. I think it's Perea. Perea, 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 whatever. Um, Archer series, I believe, the 2P, two person. So we got the guy lines out. It's been handling the wind okay. We are gonna have to replace the uh, the um, the strings that attach the base, the uh, bug net, and the rain tarp to the ground here. The tie downs are good. These tie downs I like, but these on all four corners, they're the stretchy sort, 
of cords and they don't really hold up in the wind very well. They bend too much and sometimes they'll pull the stake around and then you got a loose, loose part of your tent. So I tripped over the guy lines only once so far, which is a record for me. I'm going into the tent here. We got some trash laying around, but for the most part, it's pretty well set up the way we've, the way we've been sleeping. So, anyways, yeah, this is kind of where we've been staying for right now, and uh, I know the tent probably isn't fully taut. We're still learning, still working on it. So. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and this probably isn't the end of this video, but I just wanted to put it out there and say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing and commenting on the videos and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks to uh, Gary Stoltz, who is our second patron on our Patreon page. Um, if you want any help locating that, I can try to remember to put the link in the description, but probably what I'll end up doing is uh, just email us at hikingforhope1953 at gmail.com and I will send you those links if I forget to put it in the description. We'll talk to you guys again real quick. Bye-bye. So the wife How far is... is the Maplewood State Park from Fergus Falls? The drive from Fergus Falls to Maplewood State Park is 27.7 miles. I'm sorry. That's 30 miles. Okay, we are finding out. Aaron's checking the map for tomorrow's route. Uh, starting uh, picking up the trail here at De Lagoon. And she has discovered that it is going to be 27.7 miles or something like that. 27.7 miles to our next uh, official campsite. So, looks like at least there's plenty of water along the way. We'll just have to keep an eye on our food for the next few days. Yeah, I may have to... Right? Yeah, I may have to make a trip back into the gas station right outside of here. It's not very far from here. And get some beef jerky or something. Okay, yeah. We'll have to get something like that. Something high in protein and easy to pack you know so we got a we got a big day tomorrow um we should probably go to bed early it's getting kind of late we've already been up too late it's almost 10 o'clock already so i just wanted to throw that out there and make a quick clip of this and uh on with the show all right guys uh, i believe it's day five now we uh packed up the tent we got our bags pretty much uh, packed up here. There's the wife's pack with a few things left to go on the outside. Here's my pack all bound up and ready to hit the trail. The uh, North Country Trail is just down this way. We just pick it up right at that entryway that uh, I posted on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, it's Hiking for Hope 1953 or at hiking for hope 1953 I guess that's the the correct term or way to say it so we're going to be heading out here shortly and i'll try to get some pictures of some nature for you guys to look at talk to you later all right guys we're outside of the fergus falls fishing game club a uh, little chalet here the nct continues on in this direction so we've got our map working for us now we were a little confused Coming under the highway, which way to turn? Dropped our packs, taking a little break. Get over here. There comes Maddie. She listens most of the time, some of the time. Ankle braces for mama. Yeah, what did we learn, wife? <sighs> Gotta pay more attention to my feet. Well, I do, but I just happened to look up and not pay attention to the road, and there was a dip in the road. And no, I went. Yep, almost twisted your ankle, but, didn't uh, you? Yeah, it's a little hurt, but I think I might have just bruised it a little bit. It doesn't feel like a sprain because the other foot I've sprained before, and I know what that feels like. So I think I just mine, minor did some bruising on muscle. Mm. But um, I got one of my one of my other braces on, along with my good socks that 
um, Susanna and Harry from Pennsylvania gave me the socks. Some extra pressure on it, so. From our Amazon wish list, which I believe only contains food Maddie. from here on. Maddie. Go Maddie. find her. You're there she here. is. There's a lot of wildlife out here, and someone would have me for lunch. Yeah, Maddie. Be a good and girl. So I have, and I've always had weak ankles. And so I, when I stop, we get to a big town, I probably should get some ankle braces for my ankles so that way they don't wobble. When they get tired, they go. And they've done that my whole life. I just got weak ankles. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get some of those. I think that would help my walking better. Okay. Peace. Peace.